this was in 1970s, early 1970s, there's this galaxy that's obviously losing it. I mean, it's coming apart. The arms are coming off and so forth and so on. And there is this quasar, Mark, II and Mark 205, connected back uh, by a luminous filament. We're going to a different level of proof here now. Before, we had the associations, the pairing, the statistical, so forth. But here now, we have an actual uh, luminous connection, actual physical connection. Uh, but this, this, and therefore, this stirred a tremendous amount of, of resistance and animosity and, 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 uh, and bad uh, criticisms and so forth. Uh, this was taken, finally, I discovered it on the 200 inch, and then this was a four meter CCD photograph which showed it. Uh, and a number of astronomers with large telescopes uh, said that, that the connection didn't exist. And well, I mean, so it sat there until last year on the web appeared this next uh, picture, which I was unaware of. Some, some friends of mine told me about it. And it turns out that there's this amateur in England uh, from the English skies, which are noted for being poor observationally, with a 50 centimeter telescope, half a meter telescope, and a CCD has taken this, and the connection shows beautifully. Uh, I think that this is a, uh, should be an enormous embarrassment to the people, the professionals with the large telescope, and an enormous encouragement to the, to the amateurs, and, and in fact, I, and I hope there are some amateurs here, uh, because I know the amateurs in, uh, in Italy and other places are encouraged now to go over this whole uh, group of objects and try to search for more uh, confirmatory um, examples. But I'm terribly pleased by this. I'm terribly pleased that it came from the amateur community, because they're the ones who really look at the photographs and really think about what it means. And uh, the professionals tend to be uh, specialists and only look at what's uh, uh, predicted by their theories and so forth. So uh, that's, that's one of the latest developments. Uh, I might say that this Markarian 205, which I called a quasar, is really sort of a transition between a quasar and a compact galaxy, a compact young AGN, what they call. They've arbitrarily set the limit for a quasar is minus 22 and a half magnitudes on the basis of their redshift distance. And, and this has confused the whole um, subject enormously because this then is just on the line between being a quasar and, and, uh, and a uh, AGN, luminous galaxy. But I suppose it's also uh, uh, illustrative of this transition of this evolutionary uh, passage between quasars and galaxies. And the next slide will show you an example of this. Uh, this is NGC 1232, a famous SC1 spiral galaxy in the southern hemisphere. And uh, I had worked on that. There's this little galaxy that has a redshift one-tenth the velocity of light. And it's, it's, uh, I would argue it's, it's obviously interacting with this arm and uh, causing a disturbance in this arm right here. This galaxy is a, it's obviously a, a companion galaxy, and, uh, and you can see it comes out of this, this arm here. The point is that these, this is probably an ejection in the, in the disk of the galaxy, and I will argue later that they actually the spiral arms are formed by these ejections, and this is a nice tie-in with the plasma theories that we've been talking about here. Since they're moving in the arms, they're slowed down a little, they develop earlier, and this is a companion galaxy just making the transition. Uh, here, this is plus 5,000 kilometers per second higher redshift. And everybody said this was obviously a companion. And then they found out what the redshift was. And they said, no, it must be an accidental configuration, even though you could trace it back here and see where it came out of the arm and that's sort of the slot in here. Now, th this is a particularly beautiful photograph. I think it was voted the most beautiful photograph of 19 something or other. It's from the VLT, the new uh, European uh, Space uh, Organization, ESO, uh, um, eight meter on power now. And this picture is pasted on the uh, bulletin boards and the walls of all the major observatories in the world. And everybody looks at this and 
they don't notice this galaxy and they don't notice this galaxy. I talked to one of the, my friends who was responsible for posting this around. I said, you know the story on this. And he said, yes, yes, I know, I know, but we don't want to talk about that. 